Hello, this is for Sagittarius Sun Rising. This is for Sagittarius Sun Rising. Please check your charts to make sure that you are a Sagittarius. If you aren't, then you are a cross watcher. I hope that my Sagittarius are doing well and also with a very clear headspace. I'm hearing a lot of my Sagittarius are starting something new. A lot of you just broke up with someone too, an air sign or maybe another earth. Not exactly sure. About to see though. Hope you're in a quiet environment, peaceful. I'm hearing a lot of you been having a lot going on. A lot of you have been having a lot going on, so I definitely hope that you're in a quiet environment. I want you to really, you know, receive this message. So on the bottom, we have last quarter moon in Pisces. Honor your feelings. So you could have Pisces in your charts or also be dealing with the Pisces. But I'm hearing a lot of my Sagittarius just need to honor their feelings. A lot of you aren't standing on how you feel. A lot of my Sagittarius are not standing on how they feel. And I need you to do that. I definitely need you to stand on how you feel. So we have full moon in Libra. Find a balance. So a lot of my Sagittarius could be dating a Libra or also have Libra in your charts. But I'm hearing a lot of you need to figure out exactly what you're wanting to do. I don't know if this is in life or just in general or in a relationship, but I'm hearing that a lot of my Sagittarius are kind of lost right now and not really exactly sure what they're wanting to do in life. And they're telling you to find a balance, find something that works for you. And this could also be relationship wise. A lot of my Sagittarius could be balancing relationships. You could be juggling two people. I'm hearing a lot of my Sagittarius could be juggling two people. You could be juggling two air signs or possibly an air and a fire sign or maybe even a water too. I'm not exactly for sure, but a lot of you are juggling two things at one time. Maybe this is two people. Maybe this is two jobs. Some of my Sagittarius are also juggling two jobs at one time. A lot of you are working more than one job trying to make it. I mean, a lot of you are trying to make it right now. You have last quarter moon and Scorpio reveal what needs to be seen. So a lot of you definitely could be juggling two people. A lot of you could definitely be juggling two people. I'm here to be getting player energy from some of my Sagittarius. I'm getting that a lot of my Sagittarius could be juggling between relationships. If not relationships, then possibly people. Or I'm just, you know, I'm getting a lot of my single Sagittarius are definitely on their player energy. We have first quarter moon in Aries. Step into your power. So a lot of my Sagittarius could have Aries in their charts. This is your brother fire sign. Or you also could be dealing with an Aries. You know, check your charts to see what resonates. But they're telling you to step into your power. So it's time to find a balance. Reveal what needs to be seen and unleash it. It's time to step into your power. And for you, that this could be job related. Maybe this is picking a better job. Seeing that that job isn't for you and going to another one. Maybe this is seeing a person isn't for you and dating someone else. You also have first quarter moon and Taurus release control. So a lot of my Sagittarius is could be dating a Taurus because you have released control. So a lot of you are wanting, I'm hearing a lot of my Sagittarius are control and power. Like you have to have power and control over every situation. And I mean, honestly, I'm really getting that a lot of my Sagittarius are juggling partners. You know, I normally don't get this kind of energy from a reading, but I'm just saying that some of you are on your player shit and you, I mean, and then for one ones that's not, then maybe this is job related or you're simply just trying to figure out if someone's right for you or if they're the one for you. But I'm getting a lot of you are dating more than one person. Um, I also have new moon in Sagittarius. So this is your energy. Hope you have your sage going as well. 
Keep your aura in your house good. Um, new moon in Sagittarius, focus on the positive. So some of my Sagittarius could be dealing with the Sag. Or also, they're telling you to focus on the positive. So we have find a balance where villain needs to be seen. Step into your power, release control, and focus on the positive. So a lot of you could be definitely dealing with two people. Or this could be job related, but you're juggling something. A lot of my Sagittarius are juggling something. Whether it's a job, two jobs, two people, two relationships, two kids. A lot of you are juggling right now. I'm hearing a lot of my Sagittarius are juggling. Let's pull more energy to see, like, what the hell is going on? Like, ooh, Lord, Sag, what do you have going on? We love you, Sagittarius. It just seems like you have a lot going on right now. Let's see. Could be dealing with a Leo, too, another fire sign. Definitely, you could be dealing with an Aries or another Sag. So, we have full court, full moon in Aquarius. Be real. So, yes, a lot of you are juggling between situations. And the universe is telling you to step into that power and be up front and be who you are. You also have cool your emotions, full moon in Aries. So you definitely could be dealing with the Aries. I have Aries in your charts. But they are telling you to cool your emotions. So a lot of you are being overly emotional right now. What has Sagittarius so overly emotional? I'm hearing it could possibly be a Gemini or a Libra. But something has Sagittarius very emotional. You have full moon in Gemini, embrace the flow of life. So a lot of you could be dealing with the Gemini or have Gemini in your charts, but you have embraced the flow of life. So a lot of you need to sit back and relax. Quit juggling whatever you're juggling because it's causing a lot of shit in your life and just embrace what's going on. You have full quarter moon in Scorpio, release your blocks. So yes. They're telling you to release your control. That was Taurus energy. So there could be a Taurus involved. And they're also telling you to release your blocks. as Scorpio energy. So you could be around a Scorpio. I also have Scorpio in your charts. But um, you're blocking yourself from something, Sagittarius. Like you're blocking a blessing, possibly. You could be your own worst enemy right now. I hate to tell you that. But you could possibly be your own worst enemy right now. And whatever you're juggling is bringing you down. I don't know whether it's two people, two jobs. Like, I'm just really getting that. I'm getting player energy, but I'm also getting double life. Like, you just got a lot going on. You're trying to do so much at one time. Last quarter moon in Sagittarius. Practice gratitude. So this is for you. Or this could be your energy, how you're currently feeling at this moment. Or this could be the Sag that you're dealing with. In the last energy, new moon and cancer, relax. So the first energy was cool your emotions. In Aries, cool your emotions and relax. Yes, Sag, calm down. What has Sag so in an uproar? A lot of you, it's an air sign. It's an air sign for a lot of my Sages. It's just, I've been over here going nuts. <laughs> Got you over here going crazy. Oh, definitely gonna pull those since those just fell. But I ain't gonna pull all them. So you have on the bottom, happy family. So a lot of my Sages are happy in their family situations right now. A lot of you, if you aren't, you're definitely going to be within the next couple of weeks. So you have the door personal happiness and healing facing forward. So a lot of my Sages are healing from something. Maybe it was these two lives you were juggling. <laughs> maybe, you, maybe you finally let one of them go. I'm getting a lot of you to finally let somebody go. So now you're happy. A lot of my Sagittarius have finally let this air or fire sign go. The sun, you're going to come out on top. You're going to come out on top. You're untouchable, Sag. The world, you're ready to take on the world. You've healed 
You're ready to take on the world. You're ready to get to the sun. You're ready to get to the top. I'm hearing a lot of you have really took out the time to work on yourself. And it took getting rid of some people. For a lot of my Sagittarius, it took getting rid of some people to get where you're at. But you're there. Congratulations. I mean, let's give a Sag a round of applause. <laughs> like, seriously, Sag Sun Moon Rising, you are really on the way to the sun. You have Blossom in Abundance and the Fifth Chakra in reverse. So you're not speaking that positively right now. You're not speaking that. Or some of you could have just went to the doctor for something to have to do with the throat. Some of you. And also, you're not speaking really positively. Like, you, you're you're taking out the time to heal, but I'm hearing you cussing people out, getting into it with people in the process. So, it's time to let all of that energy go, Sag. All of that has to go. And, you know, you are what you say, so just watch what you speak, because it can't come true. Let's get some questions answered for Sag. Let's see. Is Sag, mm, is Sag happy in the situation they're in? This is for Sag is in a relationship right now. Listen to your intuition. So if you don't feel like you're happy, then you aren't. If you do feel like you're happy, then you are. Listen to your intuition. Do they want to be in the situation? Do they want to be in it? This is not the right time. So for some of my Sagittarius, this isn't the right time for you to jump into a relationship or to get in one or to be in one if you are. This is for some of my Sagittarius. You're still healing from something. You don't need to jump into a relationship right now. It's not going to make you feel any better. Is this a mistake? Ask for help from others. So you need to talk to people. Some of you need therapy, I'm hearing. And also go to maybe a, a, a reader. Get some real information. A lot of you need to go to a reader, get an actual reading, or maybe even just go to a therapist or a church, whatever you need to do. A lot of you need to do it. A lot of you. Sad you expecting any kids? Not the right time. So a lot of you, you're not expecting kids anytime soon. And if you are, it's not the right time for you. It's still happening anyway. Or maybe you don't feel like it's the right time. Should they leave the situation they're in? They said compromise a year from now. So you could possibly be walking away from the situation you're in from a year from now. And in order for it to work, it's going to take some compromise. And sad, you're going to have to let that guard down, release them blocks and that control that we were just talking about. Thank you for tuning in. This is for Sad Sun Moon Rising. If you are interested in a better or, you know, more personal reading, then you can definitely reach out to me. I'm going to be putting the link on how to book me at the bottom. If you did resonate with this video, then like, share, subscribe. Other than that, thank you for tuning in.